Hi, welcome to Geo Vision video tutorial for IP camera series. I'm Derek Ho. I'm Pearl. We two are going to be the trainer for this video. Let's get started. Uh, this let's take a quick look for the outline. The outline for this uh, for this video includes uh, the goal. Uh, we can talk about what's the goal for uh, for this video video tutorials. Uh, we can introduce what exactly the IP camera is, and uh, not only the IP camera. What's not only to introduce uh, what the IP camera is, uh, so we're going to introduce more what kind of features in GeoVision IP cameras. And we're going to have a case studies, we're going to share a story, a successful story in the United States. And uh, we're going to have a live demo, so after this training classes, we're going to set a live demo section to show you guys uh, how to configure uh, the features on the website, the web browser of the IP camera. So after this um, video training, Video, this video we can have uh, FAQ sections uh, if you don't understand uh, what's the material during the video tutorial so uh, you can just come to us and ask ask, uh, ask us uh, the questions uh, and we will be happy to answer your questions and uh, lastly uh, we have the appendix uh, for further information in the back slides okay what's the goal for the for this video tutorial the goal for this uh, video tutorial is to help you guys understand what the, the various spec and the models of IP camera in GeoVisions. And uh, another purpose for this uh, video is uh, we have, we're going to have, uh, you guys will have uh, more knowledge on the GeoVision IP camera features. Uh, you guys will know, okay, this feature is for that, this feature is for this, something like that. And uh, we're going to have, uh, like, give you guys uh, updated for um, th this year, so like how, like what kind of uh, new products we're going to release for this year. So what is IP camera? IP camera stands for uh, Internet Protocol Cameras, like many other kinds of uh, communications, um, such as email, web services, or computer telephone. It's connected over wireless or wire IP network. IP cameras also provides users, uh, especially in the security surveillance industry, uh, with many advantages over the traditional analog cameras. We call that CCTV. Let's take a look at the network structure for IP camera. As long as there is a network environment established, it doesn't matter if it's a LAN or one. You can see the live view of IP camera through web browser. It could be IE browser. Firefox or Google Chrome, or you can download the apps to view to view uh, the to view the live view of IP cameras. So you can even connect. You can even have your IP camera to be connected to a MVR or recording server for recording purposes. Okay, the abbreviation of GeoVision IP camera series. Uh, this is a slide to teach you guys how to identify a GeoVision IP camera. First digit always uh, means the megapixel value of the camera, and the second digit means that how, what kind of a specific specific feature does the camera have, and the third digit means that um, with the, whether the camera is uh, motorized or not motorized, or is this a very focal with the IR or a motorized with the IR, and the last digit means um, is this camera um, a new design camera or an old design camera. So far, GeoVision has eight types of cameras in his product line. So as you can see in the slide, um, we GeoVision does support the cube type camera, box type camera, and the bullet type camera, fisheye camera, and the speed dome camera, PDZ camera, and uh, another type of camera called target series. Basically, target series is a, is a series that includes uh, different types of camera. Uh, target series includes uh, box type cameras, uh, includes a dome type camera for uh, both the outdoor use and indoor use and it support the bullet camera as well so uh, all of the word all of the word, the type of camera you see uh, in the slides basically uh, these are the common words not only used by GeoVision but also in the security surveillance industry so Let's go for let's go for the first type of camera. Okay, box type camera. Um, here are the three types of box type camera in the GeoVision product line. So, uh, the top one is a camera um, called R 
Arctic box type camera. So let's go for the first type of uh, box type camera. Uh, I got a sample here. This is a camera called Arctic, and the abbreviation for this camera is BX. BX stands for box, and there's going to be an English letter E come after the model name. Um, this is a camera specially designed to support a wide operating temperature from uh, minus 40 degree to 50 degree in Celsius. And it supports PoE, uh, IK, I, IK10, and IP67. And as you can see, there are four LEDs positioned around the camera lens. So this camera supports the uh, infrared feature as well. So this is a camera called Arctic Box Camera. Okay, the next type of uh, box camera is called ultra box camera. This is how uh, ultra box camera exactly looks like. Uh, it's pretty small and light and easy to install. Uh, the abbreviation for this camera is uh, UBX. U stands for ultra, BX stands for box. Uh, there are four LEDs uh, positioned around the camera lens. And uh, another characteristic for this camera is that uh, there is a SD card slot in back of the camera. So this camera supports local storage. And uh, this is an indoor use camera, of course. For the last type of a boss type camera, which is this one. The abbreviation for this camera is BX. BX stands for box. This is an indoor use camera. It supports PLE, two-way audio. And as you guys can see, in the back of the camera here, there is a micro SD card slot and a mini USB port. It means that this camera supports local storage. And another characteristic for this camera is that we have the various types of lens for this camera in order to satisfy customer's needs. So this is a camera called Box, and his abbreviation is BX. The next type of camera is called Bullet Type Camera. I got sample here, which are these two. The top one, the model name for the top one is uh, BLT, stands for bullet. And the bottom one here is uh, called UBL, stands for ultra bullet. Both of these cameras are used for outdoor and they uh, support uh, IP67 and IK10. And one of the big differences between these two cameras is, let me put this, uh, this camera down first, is the infrared distance. Uh, for the bullet camera, there are 16 LEDs positioned around the camera lens. So this camera supports the infrared distance up to 40 meters. However, for the ultra bullet camera, it only has 4 LEDs uh, positioned around the camera lens. So it supports the infrared di distance up to 10 meters. This is uh, the big differences between uh, the bullet camera and ultra bullet camera. The next type of camera is called uh, Dome Type Camera. Joe Vision currently supports four types of Dome Type Camera in product line. So uh, let's go for the first one. The first one is uh, called Fistol Camera, and the abbreviation of this camera is uh, FD. It's an indoor use camera, support the uh, PLE, and uh, support the uh, infrared feature. And there is an SD card slot in the back of the camera here. So this camera supports the uh, local storage. This one, uh, Fistol Camera. So what about the outdoor use uh, dome camera? As you can see in my hand, this is an outdoor use uh, dome camera. Um, the abbreviation for this model is uh, called VD. As you can see here, Vandal Proof VD, Vandal Dome Camera. It supports uh, IP67 and uh, infrared features, PoE of course, and there is an SD card slot inside the camera. So this camera supports uh, local storage as well. However, um, there is a very big characteristic for this camera is that there are only two cameras in dual vision that only support IK10+. One is this one, uh, vinyl proof camera, and the other is our outdoor use fish eye camera. So let's go for the next one. Uh, next one is uh, called fix, mini fix dome camera, uh, which is this one. So you can see my hand is pretty small and light and easy to store. Uh, of course, this camera supports PoE. Uh, this is called this is our uh, mini fix stone camera. Uh, this camera uh, you can use uh, you can install this camera especially uh, like in elevator or a small room. So uh, the abbreviation for this camera is uh, NF, MFD mini fix stone camera NFD. 
the last time of dome camera is called Mini Fix Rob Dome Camera. The abbreviation for this camera is uh, MDR and it supports IP67 and IK10 and PoE. This is just not an outdoor use camera. This camera can be also used um, and install on transportation like a bus or a train. The reason is the camera has passed a vibration test. So this camera can deliver a reliable and stable video image during vehicle movements. So this is a camera uh, specially uh, used uh, for, um, for transportations or uh, outdoor. Next section, this is vandal proof dome. We have a design for the outdoor usage. So it's an outdoor type. You can set up in the outside. It's waterproof. Okay, so since it is outside design, so we have a certificate about IP67 and IK10 plus. It's a window, window proof. Okay. okay, and then we have a frame per second, about 30 frames per second for 1.3 and 2 megapixel, and 20 frames per second for 3 megapixel, and 10 frames per second for 5 megapixel. Okay, there is IRLED for the IR design. There are six IR LED outside the camera body. Okay. There are uh, oh, the lens with IR cock filter with one microphone and one speaker out. It also support PoE. Okay. So it's easy for installation if outside there is no power outlet. IR design here. There, that unlike a uh, third-party IP cameras, the IR inside the camera, but this IR is designed outside, so there is no IR reflection issue from the image from the cover. Okay, let's see the comparison. Okay, this is a big window proof dome, and this is third-party IP camera. The window proof dome has seen the well balance about the IRs here. You can see the see the 30 meters result here. And this is another one for the somebody IPKM. See the IR is focusing central area. So there is not well balanced like this one. So this is a full dark with zero lux result here. Okay, so you will see that the new IR design is better because the same is not that like the, the like third party IV can. The IR design only focus the central area. Okay, next we will check the extension, the new design for the extension spring and pigtail. We will show you later. Okay. This is camera the new design for extension spring here. During the connection, the connection and installation, the, the camera cover will not fall, so you can just connect it uh, for the camera body. And there is no pigtail for the new design here. See, there is cover. There is no cover here, so it will easy for the installation. Oh. And this next feature about camera, you can shift the camera and we also have an installation plate and we will show you. Okay, in this section we will show you the easy installation about the window proof dome. See, the camera body can shift like this one. So after you unscrew this, this three screws, the three screws here and you can just ship the camera body, plug the cable, and push the camera back. So it will easier for install the installation for these cables. Okay. After that, I will show you. There is also a mount kit about the plate here. This is a plate. You can mount a different kit. We will check that later. And this is a, a, a cable over here, so we can protect the camera before your installation will not fall. A new feature about the waterproof is this one. Since this 
outdoor usage, so the waterproof is very important. But how to do the waterproof for the cables? There are two, we are separate two different rubber rings for the audio I.O. TV out, a power cable. And that, the other one would be the RJ45, the cable usage. So there are two different cables in the, ca the cable rubber ring inside the camera. Okay, so design the cable, uh, also we have a ca protect cable cable protector. Okay, well, well, there is outside for the cable protector. I will show you in next section. Okay, this is a cable protector here. And you will see for the waterproof for the RJ485 rubber ring here. And for the TV out and I.O. cable here, the, rubber t the two different rubber rings. So all the cables through this tunnel over here, and you just place the cable protector here, so you can put the cable inside the camera body. So this cable protector can fully cover all the cable from the uh, vandal proof on the cables. And this also is mount. We have a 205 and 909 mount kit. And we will show you uh, the later about the mount kit type. Okay, for wall mount kit, we have a 205 and 909. This one is 205. You see there is VD, the hole defined here. And then we just put that. Make sure the, 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 the four over here are screw tight. And then we put metal proof here and screw that together. So this all installation about 205, it will make installation easier. Yes, also with 909 for the wall mount kit here. You will see there is VD definition here. So you can simply attach the installation plate here. So make sure the VD with same screw here. And then we put camera inside and screw the three screw here. So this installation about 909. And this is a woman kit 909, the result will act this way. This is another one about the LGB mount 900, type kinds of L shape, the wall mount. There is also predefined the, the, the pin, the, the hole on the, the, the plate. So I will show you in next session. Oh. Okay, this is a mount 900 for L shape, wall mount. You will see the, the definition here. We have VD. There are two definition here. So you can sim simply play, play over here and make sure the window proof, the whole connection here. And after that, make sure the three all here are fully connected. Okay, so this is a 900 for L shape wall mount. This is L shape mount kit for VDV3 for the 900. The result like this way. This is a 903. This is for sitting mount and wall mount. Okay. So you were easier for the installation. Okay, there is mount GV mount 903 for ceiling mount and wall mount. And then we put the VDV3 mount plate over here. You see, there is three screw over here. So after you put the screw and make the plate, Connection here. 
we can pull the plate over here. Okay, so there will be the installation for wall mount and CD mount. Okay, this is a GV mount 903, the VDV3 result, like this way. Hi, in this session, we will introduce Geo Vision Cube Type IP camera. This type, this type is PR, with PR sensor, LED, UV microphone and speaker, with Wi Fi connection with my first SD card recording. Since it's so small, so it was easy for the installation. And some models also support the PoE. We have different type PTZ. This is a PTZ type. It's 1.3 megapixel, 2 megapixel, and 3 megapixel. See? The IR LED around the camera, so you will get better image in the night. They also support the mounting like this way, so it's pan and tilt, so for easy for looking around the area just for simple one camera. Okay. And GeoVision also support. Big speedo, like indoor one and outdoor one. This is the the speedo with PoE WDR sensor, 20 to 30 optical zooming and 12 digital zooming. Since this is full HD type, so we define the indoor one with SD220 and the SD220S for the outdoor. For the span right now, uh, they are 255 presets, add sequence, add auto pen, small cruise, and a tour. In this session, we will tell you about the speed of span. Okay. This is 30 frames per second, about 1920 by 1080 and the 60 frames per second by 1280 by 720 okay and this is this outdoor type so this is an IP67 and IK10 okay so um, for the indoor it's not support the IP67 okay there is only IK10 okay so this is a, a little bit difference about indoor type and outdoor type the connection here with IR computer, microphones, speaker out, four input, one output. It's 24 AC adapter, but they also support PoE, so well easy for the installation. GVIP speed do not support the PoE, okay? But you are not allowed to use regular PoE switch to provide the power for the GVIP speed because there are additional heater in the fan design for the GVM speed dome so you are required to order GVPA901 so this adapter to provide additional power for your GVM speed dome okay since this power is provide maximum is 90 watts so it's not the regular PoE can offer for this kind of spec so all of the GeoVision speed dome for PoE version, this 901 is a requirement. But you have to make sure you, when, when you order the GVM Speedo for the PoE version because this is an optional package, so you might have to additional order for this. Since we have SD220 and SD220S support PoE, but how to know if my Speedo is PoE version or not? You can check the box. If there is a PoE version, is checked. That means your speed dome is PoE available. You can also check the IP cam, the website, the web address. You can check the IP cam, the models here. The SD220 or SD220S 
means without POE. If you see the SD2200, that means this POE type. So it will eat the too easy way to define the speed of a target series type camera. This is a newly released product by GeoVision. They have a 1.3 megapixel and 2 megapixel. Uh, target series, especially for a customer who are looking for a low price and don't want any features on the cameras. Let's take a quick look of hardware spec. Uh, this is a spec for the 2 megapixel cameras for target series. Uh, we have a fixed dome camera here, a bullet camera, and a a dome camera here, which is uh, here are the picture for the all of the three. And one of the differences between them is uh, for the bullet camera and fixed dome camera, they support uh, up to they only support up to 25 fps. You might be curious uh, for other GeoVision IP camera if it is a two megapixel, it's supposed to support tail on tail 30 fps. But uh, for talking series especially, these two types of cameras, they only support up to 12, 25 FPS. Uh, for EDR dome camera, which, which is this one, it supports up to 3, 30 FPS. So of course, they support dual streams. Uh, uh, for the bullet cameras, it has uh, 24 LEDs with uh, 20, 30 meters. However, uh, for the fixed dome camera and EDR, they only they have um, 12 LEDs with uh, 50 meters. All of these three cameras, uh, they have the uh, IR cut filter. However, only for the this model, fixed dome camera support one-way audio. For the other two models, they don't have uh, any audio features, and uh, no more uh, SD card slot for the V3. And the operating temperature is different as well for the fixed dome camera. The operating temperature is from the 0 to 45 degrees in Celsius. And for the bullet camera and dome camera, the operating temperature is from the minus 30 degrees to 50 degrees. Okay, in this session, we will introduce you to Vision IP cam fish, fish eye type. This is 360 degrees of balance. So, uh, we will have an uh, indoor type and outdoor, outdoor type for the, uh, for the connection with the IR ring we have additional one with IR ring you can get better uh, excellent image in the night uh, this, this type uh, so also support the PoE so there is additional uh, PoE converter for the, the fisheye connection with the with and now there you, you can see the type here there's no mechanical moving part so the uh, installation can be an easy way for for all the installation for the site. Okay. Now we check the models here. For the GeoVision IPK models here, the, there is last digit two means no IR included. The last digit 3 means with IR included. So, for example, if ER3.02, that means no IR. This is a fish eye spec. We have a 1.3 megapixel to 5 megapixel. Okay. So, there are for the outdoor one, for the IP67 certificate, and for the IK10 plus. For the connection here, we have uh, one microphone and one speaker out, building speaker, microphone and a speaker here for the outside, okay? And there is for the uh, micro SD card recording with a PoE connection, okay? This is also with a PoE type. This is the IR ring, okay? So you can see around the camera here, there is light sensor here. For the light sensor, so the, the IR ring can detect the light condition about 0 0.5 lux. So after, if you lower 0 0.5 lux, the, the six IR ring inside will turn on. Okay, that means this IR ring have additional 12 DC adapter for the power. Okay. The connection about the the IR 
should be this way. And so you might want to know how about the IR distance. Okay, so that's for example. And we have best connection about the connection here if you installation that for the ceiling mark around three meters here and the IR available area will be 10 meter, the diameter. Okay, so that means around the three meter height insulation, you can, the IR available for the 10 meter in this area. Okay, let's check the live image here. We have better design about the image. Okay, the before we have cut about top one and the button. And the new one, we have a better the area for include all the circle here. With the IR, you will check if this is with without IR, so the connection image will be like this way. It's not visible. With IR, you can see the connection, the, the image is more clear in the night. Okay? And it not just work for one angle, you can see the four 360 degree for the image. This is a POE converter. It will be this ring for the fisheye. It provides the POE power for indoor fisheye and IR ring. Okay. And let's check the connection here. The POE converter provides power for fish eye and also for the IR ring. And it is still also provide network connection here. Okay. So I will show you the actual the installation in the detail later. Let's take the example about the POE converter connection. This is a POE 0801 and we have a POE, a POE converter here. We have fish eye here, and we have IR ring over here. Okay, and now we take a look at detail about the connection here. This is a PoE converter, so this power connection with the fish eye, and the other one will be connection with IR ring. And this is a PoE converter, so the data connection by this way, the PoE uh, connection by this way. So this PoE connection with the PoE switch. Okay, so in this way, you can now successfully connection with PoE converter with IR ring and the fish eye. So we can power supply for PoE and the fish eye. But now, after we do that, this is the old way we do that, because before the shipping to customer, but now we will do all the connection here. So you don't have to do that again. Before we shipping to the customer, we will do that do this part before the shipping. Okay. The, the indoor type and outdoor type about geovision fish eye, there are two different types. Indoor the fish eye there is no cable. But outdoor one, the with the network cable here. Since this for waterproof issue, so we have to use the cable here for the cabling so it's necessary for the outdoor for the mini USB we can provide the USB antenna and also support external hard drive recording this is the new audio chipset here with speaker, microphone this is a speaker extension here, so you can lower the, the, the speaker for the camera installation so the people can hear more clear alarm or sound from the installation side. And this is a, a PoE or the uh, a DC adapter. There's a wall mount for wall mount kit for the Zoo 205. You will see the result in the next session. Jimmy Mount 205, Fish Eye. 
you prettify the fish eye position here. So you match three point here. And after you screw that, you make the position is correct for the for the for the covers. Okay, so resolve it like this way. We also have a new different mount like 903. You can get the result in that session. For fish eye mount, 903, the mount kit. This is for wall mount and the CD mount for fish eye. And there is a three position here, additional screw for the 903 for fish eye. And after you click this this way. And three screw over here and then put the cover over here. And additional three screw here. The result will act this way. Okay. And this is a GB mount 904. And this is a kind of wall mount you can for teal the angle of, of installation. We will check it next. Okay. This is a 904 GB mount for tailed wall mount to fish eye. You can three position here. And if there is additional fit for the hole top to top and after you screw these drivers and one more put the covers and with three position here so after result will be like this way so you can change the different angle like tilt in this way
360 degree mode on the button here. And it can change any angle. And also, we do have the PTZ panel here. You can try to make like rounding of the PTZ so it can kind of fully cover in this kind of PTZ dome. And this also we also have a different mode like a dual 180 degree here. So after you're moving, they will do it two different position in the in the viewing. So we can drag your mouse and try to get different angle of view. And last one will be the single view. See there there is a PIP, the position here, the click any area to kind of uh, enlarge the screen on the background. Okay, let's see the comparison about the fisheye indoor type and outdoor one. For the waterproof issue, since it's IP67, so the RJ485 and pigtail was removed for the indoor type. Okay, but outdoor one still have to with this waterproof issue, so this detail is still available. And there is mini USB port. This is for indoor only because this also support in the internal design for the indoor. For the IP67, of course, is for outdoor type only. So that's all about the fisheye. What kind of features does the Geo Vision IP camera support? GeoVision IP camera support on Viv. So what is on Viv? On Viv stands for Open Network Video Interface. Video Interface Form. Uh, it is a communication protocol used in so security su surveillance industry. So let's uh, say uh, so far, um, all of the GeoVision IP camera support on Viv two, version 2.3. Let's say uh, if uh, there is a third-party NVR, it's going to connect the GeoVision IP camera. It is able to uh, detect the GeoVision IP camera and is and able to add the camera to the NVR as, as long as the third-party NVR support on the protocol as well. So what other features, what other features um, are included on V2.3? You can do the configuration like FPAs, resolution, image quality, or dual stream or codec. All of these features can be configured through Onviv on Viv protocols from third-party MBR. So you, you can also uh, configure the you support. You also support audio streaming, AAC, advanced audio code. code. This is for the audio streaming. And if uh, this is a GeoVision PDZ camera, you can operate a PDZ function like pan, tail, and zoom in or zoom out. What is light dynamic range? This is a feature that handles different kind of uh, lighting conditions and it provides a well-balanced video image. So let's take a look of the picture in the slide here. Um, as you can see, the right hand side is a picture taken by the camera with the WDR feature applied. And on the left hand side, this is a picture taken by the camera without WDR feature applied. So, uh, as you can see uh, for the left hand side pictures, uh, it is invisible uh, for the foreground part. However, uh, with the, the, camera, the pictures with the WDR feature applied, uh, it provides a well balanced video image. So, this is uh, the differences between. Uh, uh, before and after WDR feature applied. So I got a couple of pictures here for you guys to compare and let's go for it one by one. Uh, for the first one, this is a picture taken by the camera without WDR feature applied. So as you can see, uh, it's kind of dark. And for the second one, uh, it, it is uh, this picture is taken by the camera with the WDR feature applied by a software-based uh, WDR features. Uh, so what does software WDR means? means that the camera can support WDR features uh, through firmware upgrade. So this is why we call software WDR. Uh, let's go for the last one. Uh, last one is WDR Pro. Uh, basically this is a hardware based solutions. 
Uh, the reason is that we add the new chipset inside the camera. So uh, the, w, the camera with the WDR Pro can provide a better and well, video, well balanced video image than software based WDR. Okay, the next feature is uh, super low locks. So what does locks mean? It means that measurement for illuminations. So if a camera with a feature super low locks, it means that the camera can provide a colorful light image in near darkness. So as you can see here, we have um, two pictures here. Uh, the left hand side is a, uh, is a picture taken by uh, a camera with the super low locks. Let's say Geovision Vision or Rollout series. But uh, on the other hand, the left hand side picture is taken by the third party camera without super low locks features. So as you can see, um, the differences between these two pictures is that under the low light conditions, the, the picture taken by uh, Geo Vision or Rolla Series is still visible. However, um, the picture on the left hand side taken by the third party camera without low, super low lock feature, you can tell, um, you can hardly see um, anything on the screen. So uh, super low locks is a feature, a very important feature for um, surveillance per, uh, for security purposes even under a very low light conditions it's still visible okay and we've got a couple examples here to show you that under what kind of situation we can benefit from motorized lens uh, for the first isolation of course uh, when camera do the initializations what does this mean this means that uh, when we restart the camera camera will automatically uh, adjusted by itself. And we've got a couple examples here to show you that under what kind of situation we can benefit from motorized lens. Uh, for the first isolation, of course, uh, when camera do the initializations. What does this mean? This means that uh, when we restart the camera, camera will automatically uh, adjust it by itself. So uh, we don't have to call uh, a technician um, to come over our place and uh, adjust the lens for us. You know, we can save a lot of money for that. And the third one, have the zoom in, zoom out. And the last one, when camera switch to day, to, uh, when camera switch to day to night mode or night to day mode. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, the camera with the uh, IR cut filter, when the camera switches from the night to day mode or day to night mode, the field of view is uh, slightly different. So for that, for that kind of situation, camera will automatically adjust it by itself and provide us a, a best field of view. A privacy mask, this is a function to allow user to block out um, some, er some sensitive areas. Uh, for example, let's take a look at the slides. This is uh, ATM pictures. Uh, as you can see, uh, sometimes when we uh, go, go to ATM and drop the money, we have to type the, the pen word, the pen, pen code. And for that kind of cases, we don't want our personal information to be seen. So uh, we can apply the privacy mask on such kind of uh, situations. Like here, I just draw a little box here on the keypad, and you say, this is before, before uh, apply privacy mask, and this is after. You can see the keypad now is blocked out. The temporary alarm functions. If the camera detects the following situations, the alarm will be triggered. So let's go for uh, the first one, temporary. What if uh, the camera, the lens of the camera is covered by uh, something? It could be gun or paint. For that kind of a situation, an alarm will be triggered. Or the second one, a focus change. Or uh, the third one, the camera. The direction of camera is uh, changed by someone else intentionally. Default features. This is a feature to um, sharpen the uh, image in detail, especially in uh, foggy conditions. So we have a couple we have a two picture here for you to compare for the left hand side this is a picture before apply default features and the right hand side pictures is a picture uh, after we apply default features and uh, you can see the right hand side pictures has um, a clear image intelligent IR features this is a feature used to prevent overexposure of an image uh, when the object are getting so close to a camera, the camera will automatically adjust uh, the IR LED brightness. So let's take a take a simple. Let's take a look for the, the picture here. 
This, uh, for the right hand side, this is a picture uh, taken by the camera with the regular IR features. As you can see, uh, it is uh, overexposed and uh, it is really hard to tell what this, uh, what this picture, what this object is. And on the other hand, for the left hand side picture, this is a picture taken by the camera with the intelligent IR features. And you can see uh, it's, it, is, it provides uh, even exposure and uh, it's clear to see uh, the object in the picture. Okay, basically, user can decide where they want their video data to be saved to. It could be uh, NVR or it could be uh, on camera itself. So, what kind of devices do we need? Uh, we need, for example, we need uh, external hard drive or a mini or micro SD card. However, not every type of cameras in GeoVision do support these two of devices. For example, our box head camera uh, is support both of these uh, two devices, like external box camera has a mini USB port, and so we can have the hard drive to be connected to the camera and uh, it has a um, SD card slot so you can use uh, the SD card of course so however uh, for the ultra box type I just give one of the example for the ultra box type it only supports micro SD card because uh, ultra, ultra box type doesn't have a, a USB a mini USB port so once you're going to use a micro SD card here is a couple things you might be need to you might need to uh, be careful with. Uh, first of all, the micro SD card must be uh, SDFC and uh, it's gonna be uh, a class 10 or above. Uh, flash memory with MLC, of course. And lastly, uh, for so far, GeoVision IP camera doesn't support UHS. UHS stands for Ultra High Speed. This is uh, one of spec in uh, SD card. So, uh, unfortunately, so far we doesn't support such kind of uh, SD card. Um, for roadmap, we're going to talk about what kind of products we're going to release for this year and uh, what other new features will be added on the GeoVision IP cameras. So, let's go for uh, P Iris, P Iris lens. What does P stand for? P stands for precise. So, it is a precise iris lens. So what's the differences between uh, P iris lens and conventional lens? Have a two picture here for you to compare. Um, for the right hand side, this is a picture taken by the camera with a conventional lens. Uh, on the other hand, the left hand side is a picture taken by the GeoVision camera with a P iris lens. So as you can tell, uh, for the right hand side picture, it's really hard to tell what exactly uh, it is uh, for the background image. However, um, the left hand side picture uh, taken by the GeoVision IP camera with the P iris uh, it is clear to see the background image so this is the differences uh, between the P iris lens and the conventional lens what kind of situation can we use P iris uh, if you're recording outdoor or around the clock the camera with the P iris lens will be the best choice for you the reason is that P iris is specially designed to work with uh, constantly change the level of lights. So we can use P, uh, camera with P iris lens um, to uh, parking lots or construction site. So far, um, the, the highest resolution of IP camera in dual vision is up to 5 megapixel. However, we are planning to release a 12 megapixel fisheye camera in this year. Since this product is still under development, so it is hard to tell what exactly this camera is going to be released. So this is our um, so far. This this is going to be the highest IP camera in GeoVision, 12 megapixel fisheye camera. Let's go for the next product called Unicam. We have a two types of a camera lens for the Unicam. The first one is a fisheye lens, and the other one is called Corva lens, which is a pinhole camera. And for the fisheye camera, it supports a PoE and IP67, and we have a 2 megapixel and 5 megapixel. And for the penhole camera, it supports PoE, of course. And both of these two types of camera lens, they use the same camera body. And I got a sample of a main body here, as you guys can see. There are two ports. One port is for PoE, and the other port is for connecting camera. 
and this is how you connect the camera lens to the main body and because they are separated so Unicam camera could be installed in a very limited area for example ATM and this is our new product called Unicam we're going to share a successful story happened in the United States there is a popular school in the state of New Jersey the school used over 800 fisher fisheye camera installed in each single of cl single classroom and not only that they still pr they also purchased uh, over 100 waterproof or vinyl proof cameras installed in the parking lots these are the two pictures taken at the popular school in the state of New Jersey as you can see the school use a control center monitor system to control all of the um, IP camera through network so if there is an emergency the uh, security guard can uh, can see uh, what's going on through the monitor the live demo sections uh, we have or already prepared the video clips for live demo sections so you can just uh, refer to live demo section videos so I'm going to jump uh, skip this slide and this slide and jump over directly to the FAQ sections let's take a look of the questions um, how to set up the recording schedule on GBIP cameras right, first of all you, we have to log in the, the cameras that you're going to set up the recording schedule so um, after you log in this is a uh, we go to uh, management as you know uh, we have uh, we have a selection always uh, located on our left hand side and you go to management and select storage setting and uh, you go uh, format your SD card so let's go to next step once you're done with the formatting SD card we go back to the main interface and uh, we go to recording schedule and select the camera and set a recording schedule time here uh, so you can see there's a recording schedule selection here and you click camera and uh, you will see uh, there is a select schedule times so a window pop up and you can see you can set your um, your schedule here you can set uh, around the clock or motion detection from what time to what time and uh, we even have a special day we have a schedule for a special day and you can you can decide whether you want the camera record on the weekends or not so once you're done with this, uh, again you go back to the main screen of the uh, I interface. Then uh, you go to uh, monitoring. You go to monitoring. A select schedule to start recording. Okay, here's monitoring setting, and you click uh, schedule here. Then start. Then you're done with the uh, recording schedule setting. Okay, um, after watching this video tutorial, if you guys are still looking for more information, you guys can check out our official website, uh, which is uh, www.geovision.com.tw, or you guys can email to our support team. Uh, the email address for our support team is uh, support, geovision.com.tw, or you try to call us, that's fine. Uh, just make sure uh, the international call is correct, uh, which is uh, AA6. Okay, I think uh, that's pretty much for uh, this video tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Derek Ho.